Hundred dollars cash. No questions asked. Are we good? Okay, let's get this over with. What is happening? <gasps> Make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on my Twitch and my other YouTube channel. Those links are down below. Also, my Patreon, where I post more content on there that I don't post here. This pirate trend that she's come up with, Jerry, this this is going to be the new look for the 90s. You're going to be the first pirate. <laughs> well, I don't want to be a pirate. Today, I'm going to be reacting to South Park Randy. Hey, Gerald, how are you? Hi, Gerald. 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 Right. Sit down, Jerry. Jerry, queer eye for the straight guy is on. Oh, no, you guys all turned gay, too? Oh. <laughs> Metrosexual means you're straight, but you appreciate the gay culture. It's super fabulous. Would you like some Shiraz? Mr. Garrison. Hey, doll. What? Oh, hey, Randy. You're looking ultra fabulous. <laughs> Thanks, you too. So, uh, Randy, you want me to give you a hand job in the bathroom? <laughs> no, no, thanks. I'm, I'm not like that. Not, not like that. Why won't anybody pound Mr. Slave's butt? Well, we don't pound butt, Mr. Garrison. We're straight. Those pants and those shoes say you pound butt. Stanley, what are you fighting about? Dad, Craig's trying to say that his dad can outdress you. What? Son, that's a silly thing to fight about. Yeah, everyone already knows I dress better than Randy. Oh, really? I mean, you do have the fashion sense of a Japanese woman. Oh! Please, girlfriend, oh, you look like some kind of little orphan Annie nightmare. Oh, oh no! You can either be a part of the solution or part of the problem. A few months ago, my wife Sharon and I decided to be part of the solution. By remodeling and flipping houses for people all over our town! What we're thinking is to take out the wall between the kitchen and living room for a more open concept. Open. Guys, are you ready to see your renovation? On white people renovating houses. <laughs> Janet and Dave Fitzsimmons are looking to move from their dated two-story colonial home. What we're thinking here is taking out the wall between the kitchen and the living room to give you an open concept. Uh, excuse me! What the hell are you doing? We're protesting big corporations turn into automation! They took our job! Okay, cool. Could you do that somewhere else? Trying to do a home renovation show here. Cool, thanks guys. Who is that? That's our new housekeeper, Mrs. Whoa! She's gonna help around the house on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And burn? she'll do it for 10 cents an hour. Oh, but that's the problem. Those goobacks are taking our jobs. What? Oh my God. Stan Marsh, how dare you use that time-bashing slur? Uh, come on, Dad. How come I have to go to work with you? What? Because you're being grounded, Stanley. Now I don't want to hear another word out of your intolerant mouth. <gasps> you just sit right there, Stanley, and you think about what you've done. Ooh, this is awkward. Well, the thing is, Randy, you've been replaced. What? We found an immigrant from the future who knows geology and he offered to work for next to nothing. Oh my god. They took my job! They took your job! Joining me now is their spokesperson, is Randy Marsh. Why do they Mr. Marsh, what exactly are you trying to accomplish? We're doing the only thing we can do. If our government is just going to let anybody into our time who wants to come, then we have to take matters into our own hands. Oh, We're trying to turn everyone gay so that there are no future humans. Present day America number one! Yeah, America! Dig oh my girl. goodness! Andy was kind of taking as really inappropriate or racist. But it wouldn't really be race, it's like a time issue because they're from the future, I don't know. But it, I guess the parallel would be racism, like he's being racist to make those comments. Um, but then Randy ends up ironically finding out, oh wait, this is a big deal or this is real because even if it was like, it started with smaller jobs, now it's affecting me, so now of course he's gonna care because it's affecting him. And um, yeah, what a weird way to try to solve the problem. I don't know how to comment on it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, Gerald, I, I can't watch. How can you do this to people? We're sorry, but if we do not build a super highway, our casino might stop seeing profits. There's more to life than profits. Like what? Like, you know, Slurpees and stuff. What are they doing? We're gonna try to beat you at your own game, Chief Runs With Premise. 
$10,000 on 31 Black. <gasps> Impossible. 31 Black. If we won again, it would be 12 and a quarter million. <gasps> we could save the town and be super rich. Oh, hell yeah. Let it ride. Let it ride. Yeah. Wait, you're about to learn the lesson. Two red, you lose. Oh! Hartman, don't say use him, you big silly goose. <sighs> what did you I say? Agree. I just called Cartman a name. He's a, he's a silly goose. Uh huh. You do not say big silly goose. You call him an asshole like a normal kid. But Dad, I was just trying to. Stanley, you call your friend an ass this instant. Ass. That's better. Don't come in, son of a bitch. Stanley, do you know why you're being grounded for ten months? No. Be the dog is not appropriate when we have company. <gasps> I mean, ever. Be the dog is not appropriate ever. Why? What's the big deal? Stanley, don't you understand what you were doing? Wait, I was doing did? my bucket to make the dog's milk come out. I don't know how to I... tell them. You tell them. Uh, girls, we have some bad news. What? Um, everyone who has a grandma, step forward. Uh, not so fast, girls. <gasps> That's how you tell them? That's crazy. Randy is so different. I feel like I just immediately forget what I watch. What just happened? Okay, so that's how he breaks the news that these little girls lost their grandmother. Um, at first I really was thinking, okay, well, Randy's overreacting. He's usually just on a different spectrum side. He's somewhere else, very far away from the kids rationalizing things and how he rationalizes things. Again, they're children. They're usually off on maybe thinking rationally, but somehow Randy seems worse. Um... But maybe it's only because he's as bad, but he's an adult, so you don't expect it. I'm not really sure. Oh, the casino one was crazy because he actually bet, I guess, 10... It sounded like he said 10 grand, but he bet 10 grand. I don't know how gambling works. I don't, I don't really stream on kick, but he bet 10 grand, I guess, on 31 and 1. And then, of course, they all just become overly confident and selfish. Not so fast, girl. <gasps> Hmm, so that gets rid of them. Ooh, you're a little frisky, aren't you? Yeah, well, uh, The Lord of the Rings wasn't the only thing I rented from the video store. You wanna go watch? Hey there, cowboy. You ready for some hot, steamy fun? You bet I am. I love that lingerie. Yeah, you like that? Um, yeah, baby. Yeah. Alright, you ready? Ready? Oh, yeah. Seven to the races of elves, five to the Gloondark villagers of Gelgindar. Wow, the production values are really good in this corner. Yeah, it almost looks like... This is Lord of the Rings! But then does that mean... That the boys have the hottest porn ever made. Come on, everybody, let's take this thing down! Yeah! Where did they go with yeah! it? Take it down! Columbus was a mass murderer! To hell with you, Columbus! You whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dad, listen, you need to ease off a little here, okay? Stan, oh. it's not right that people celebrate a man who wiped out millions of people for his own glory. Let's go. Hello, is this, uh, Howard Peterson? You live in Columbus, Ohio, is that correct? Yeah, you racist piece of sh**. You heard me. You're an intolerant pig. Oh, you're not? You just choose to live in a city named for ethnic cleansing? Hey, Dad. Not now, Stan. I'm working on a proposal to change British Columbia to just British. But, Dad, Kyle found a picture on Instagram. It pretty much looks like you dressed as Columbus at a Halloween party. Where did you get that? Shelly! We've got an emergency! We're getting rid of all the Columbus stuff in this house! Any Columbus costumes, Columbus pictures, they all gotta go! We gotta get rid of all our Columbus shot glasses and coffee cups! Where are they? Your Columbus shot glasses and coffee cups are in that cupboard. Your shot so glasses, coffee cups, towels, plates. What about the Columbus figurine salt and pepper shakers? I don't know where you put them, Randy. Sure, do you know what they'll do to us when they find out how stoked we were on Columbus? Right, everyone's here. Let's do this. Here you go. This just like I said, hundred dollars cash. No questions asked. Are we good? Okay, let's get this over with. What is happening? I don't wanna hear this. I don't just make it end. Oh my goodness. 
What was this conversation? It's funny that he used to have a thing for Columbus, like a he fanned over him or liked him or something. Um, and he wouldn't remember that. I get forgetting the picture, but like cups and shot glasses and plates and towels. Like you went somewhere, you went to an amusement park and just bought a bunch of merch or something. So that's kind of weird. So he's a funny character. Um, but that's it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think and have any input. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and go check out my Twitch, where I live stream three times a week, and my other YouTube channel, and my Instagram, and my Patreon for new content. Only on there. Um, and that's it. I'll see you all next time. Bye -bye, baby blue.